first off, everyone's got a right to express a view in this debate. So I'm not one of those who think that they shouldn't be allowed to say what they think. What I do think, though, is that any thought or talk about a second referendum uh, is completely mad. Uh, I know that in Ireland you've had second referendum. But here, we did not say to the British people, this is, let's hear your opinion, this is an advisory referendum, and if we don't like the answer, we'll have another look. You know, we don't do referenda very often in the UK. We said to everyone, this is the biggest decision that you're likely to make in your lifetime. I was a Remainer, but I think you have to accept the result that the people delivered. And I don't think it was uh, an accident. I don't think it was a fluke. So I think you have to accept it as a fact and then get on with it. The other reason not to have a second referendum is a practical point to do with how the negotiation might proceed. If you think the whole time that at the end of it there might be a referendum that puts the negotiation into question, why would my European friends be a, feel they can negotiate in good faith? How can the Brits negotiate in good faith? Thank you.